hello friends you are welcome to anchor network where you get updates of things that you really need to know i appreciate every one of you who has been part of this channel who has subscribed and as many that are still contemplating whether to subscribe or not i will encourage you to do that because i know you are not going to regret it at the end of the day please click the red subscribe button and also the bell icon the bell icon is very important because if you don't click the bell icon you will not be notified anytime we publish any news and more so i have a gift for everyone or as many that are interested on how to build a website there is a website link in the description section once you open it there's a video that will teach you on how to build a website from beginning to the end thank you very much so let's go straight to the business of the day government attacked our witnesses going to presidential election tribunal says pdp the People's Democratic Party has said that its witnesses in the ongoing case before the presidential elections petitions tribunals have been attacked. Taken to its official Twitter handle at official PDPNG on Friday, the main opposition party claimed that the persons who have been scheduled to be witnesses for it and its presidential candidates in the 2019 presidential election, Asiku Abubakar and his running mate Peter Obi, were attacked by yet to be identified persons. The party said the witnesses were attacked on their way to the court from their various destinations. Information reached us is to the effect that witnesses that were supposed to testify at the presidential election petition tribunal for the PDP today were attacked by unknown gunmen. Dr. Levy Uzoku, the lead counsel for the PDP and Atiku Obi at the tribunal informed the court that the witnesses were attacked on their way from their various destinations as they were coming to the court to testify against the fraud in the last February 23, 2019 elections. In view of the above information, the trial judge, Justice Mohamed Gaba, has adjourned hearing on the at official PN, PDP, NG, and Asiku and at Peter Obi petition to Monday, the 15th of July, 2019. This is really terrible. So it's not really a surprising thing because there's violence everywhere. There is attack. There's a lot of insecurity all over the place. So it is not even out of place. Coupled with the fact that, you know, this kind of huge case that is going on in the courts, a lot of things can really happen. It could be a coincidence. It could be a planned so something or whatever. So that is just what we are facing in this country. Insecurity is at its peak. And nobody is doing anything. A lot of people are being kidnapped. Some days ago, we learned that a, a permanent secretary of a one state was kidnapped. It's really baffling, and nobody has really heard anything concerning that incident. So, coupled with the fact that this kind of case that is ongoing is very crucial and very huge, anything can happen because we've heard a lot about testimonies, a lot of witnesses that have really come in favor of Atiku and they have brought their evidences before the courts and. To a layman, everything seems to be like, okay, it could be correct. But we know that at the end of the day, it's just the judge that will judge the whole thing that will bring, you know, an answer to all of this. But with all of these things that are really happening, everybody's just, okay, what is the next thing to be done? They have been attacked. I hope they are not injured. But the issue is that let everything go on smoothly and let the federal government try their best. I don't know what they are still doing. Of course, they will be saying they are doing some things or they are trying their best. But what we are saying, what we are saying now is that your best is not just enough. We are encouraging you guys to do more. We are encouraging you guys to do more because the whole thing is getting out of hand. Like I said, apart from this uh, election tribunal that is ongoing, the insecurity is at the peak. It's really at the peak. People that are still, people that are still not being attacked they could be lucky it, it can happen to anybody that is why we are calling on the federal government to put on to put more effort to be able to tackle this insecurity it's not a joke it's not a joke at all for as many that have been affected they would know how to tell the story better if people are hearing it to just be as if people are just fermenting stories but it's happening people that have been affected they can tell the stories better and they know how they are fed and how they have been tortured in one way or the other so guys that's just what we have for you that the witnesses that are going to the tribunal to go and make testimony or to testify to what happened during the 2019 presidential election you know they've been attacked by unknown gunmen so we'll get you updated as everything goes thank you very much for always listening 
Bye. Thank you.